we now have our FBX. So we're going to drag this into the scene. I'm going to move it over to the side and you can see that these two avatars, one clearly has the textures, one clearly doesn't. So our first thing is of course going to be using Pumpkin's avatar tools. I have used this in the past and I would definitely recommend this as this speeds up the process. So first step is we're going to grab our avatar and we're going to drag it into the top section where it says avatar. And then we're going to grab the hyenid and if you scroll through these, you should see the copy components section. And you basically want to add that drop down. And then right over here, copy from. We're going to pick our original avatar. And we're going to disable some things here. So first thing to disable is prefabs. This We don't want to move over any of these prefabs or anything like that. If you have prefabs, you can actually just grab them and move them over manually. And it will still work the same. And then a, another thing that may be... Uh, you may need to remove is skinned render mesh or skinned mesh renderers and such. This can add more stuff to your avatar. In this case, I actually don't need to change this at all. So after that is basically done, and I've gone through all these. Remember, if you are having issues, you can try turning one off, doing it, exporting it over, and then turn it back on if that didn't fix anything. And it's kind of like a rinse and repeat. But I'm gonna now do copy selected. With that done. If we click on our avatar, you can now see that it looks pretty close to this. One important thing to point out, of course, is that we are not done here. We have to click on our avatar here, which will be our FBX, go over to the model, and we want to make sure that legacy blend shape normals is enabled, and we're going to hit apply on that. This will make it look a little bit smoother, so that's a good step forward. The next thing we want to do is we want to go over to the rig, we want to change it to humanoid and we're going to hit apply wait a few seconds and then last thing was we're going to go over to configure now that we are in the configure <clears throat> configure menu uh we see pose over here we're going to hit reset the pose and then enforce t pose and hit apply for that this will fix any issues with different sizes and stuff so if you're having your fingers bent too oddly or stuff is inflated or shrinked down just hit reset and enforce and then one last thing to make sure is if you go to the head right over here, you can see the jawbone is mapped. We do not want this. So we're going to select none. This can cause a lot of issues with your avatar not talking and stuff. So I would recommend keeping it like that. And then make sure that you go through all of these things and make sure everything lines up. So as you can see, all the bones are in the right places. So after that's done, I'm going to hit apply, hit done. And we are now back into the Unity section. So, one of the big things here is the materials. So, we are going to find our material here, one body. We are going to search through, I believe it is right here. We're going to hit Control C to copy this material, and we're going to paste it. So, now that we have our one body material, uh, we are going to drag this on. And as you can see, things do not look good. But if you remember from earlier, we have saved that Atlas texture into our custom location, and we are going to grab this, drag it down. This will import it, and then we're going to drag it over to the texture section. Now you can see that our texture is on, and it looks good. It looks matching. One thing that's important to note is, as you can see with the fishnets here, they are not properly done. So sometimes you may need to set it to cut out or mess around with the settings. In this case, I'm actually going to head over to one that I know is working, which will be this one here. I'm going to make a copy of it. I'm going to drag this texture over, drag this onto the body, and now you can see we have it working. So with our Atlas texture here, we're going to want to set this to 4K and hit apply. This will make the pictures and PNGs a little bit better looking. We're also just going to add some compression to it. This will help with the file size later on. And now we've done that. You will notice that the eyes are broken. So with this model, it actually has two layers of eyes. So I'm going to head over to the eyes. I'm going to find the eye gloss material, drag it on. And now you can see we can see the original eye there. One other thing you can try to do is if you can't drag it on or you're having issues with that, you can click on your body here, go to the material section, 
and then you should be able to drag it onto one of these slots and it will change it. So if you want to compare the avatars, as you can see, we have this one and this one. So there is a little bit of an effect of it looking a little bit more grainy, but that is kind of one of the side effects of optimization, but it's for the better. Uh, another thing is this normal map. We won't need this anymore. Uh, this normal map was for the old texture. I will be going over how to convert the old normal map into the new texture uh, very shortly. But for this right now, I'm just going to remove it for simplicity sakes. So we now have our avatar here and it looks like our bones match. They look about the same size as the other. One thing to double check is sometimes with these, uh, the radius can change. So you may have two zeros added or you may have two zeros removed. So I would recommend if these look too big or too small, simply edit this radius by about a hundred times. So you either make it a hundred times bigger or a hundred times smaller by adjusting those numbers. One last thing I want to go over with this is if you go over to the spine section and then go over to the chest and the breasts, you can see that each one has its own fizz bone component. We can actually optimize this into a single fizz bone component. So what we're going to do is we are going to grab this component, drag it to chest. We're going to go over to this one and we are going to remove this component. We're going to go to the chest now. And we are going to, instead of root transform here, we're going to make the root transform the chest. Now you'll see that a whole bunch of stuff has gone wonky. And to fix this, all we need to do is go to the ignore transforms here, set this to the number of things to ignore. So in this case, I want to ignore three objects. And then I basically just drag each one in. And as you can see now, we now have it working just the same as before but it's only one fizz bone component, which makes it a little bit more optimized. So now that that is all done, we are pretty much ready to go.